Richie to his right, TJ to his left. He went left, and the result is what you see on your screen. Right into the back of the net. Marty, that's a brilliant goal. If you watch Henry Shefflin going through, he, he, he changed hands. Hand passed the ball with his right hand, about a 20 foot uh, pass into TJ Reid, and a brilliant goal. It changes that scoreline dramatically. Kilkenny 1 9, Tipperary 7 points. And remember, Kilkenny are without Michael Rice, as uh, Claire told us a short time ago, is heading to hospital with a tendon injury in that hand. And it's very seldom you see Brian Cody so animated, so angry along the sideline. But that tells the story there as the ball is dropping in. Dangerous ball battered away by Michael Cahill. Coming forward is Michael Finnell. Getting a little hurl in is Shane McGrath. Picked up by a man to Shane McGrath. Two North Tipperary lads. And between them, unfortunately, they can't clear it. Under pressure, the linesman James McGrath indicates that it is a Kilkenny ball. That was incredible play by Michael Finley. Conor Manny got it, he couldn't get away from him. He gave it back to Shane McGrath. And just the pure power of him, he just just completely overpowered both Conor Mahoney and, uh, and Shane McGrath there, and Kilkenny ended up winning the line ball. Quick sideline cut from TJ Reid for his own Larkin, sending it in low, easily cut out by Thomas Stapleton, using the wind to his back, so remember Tipperary are playing with the wind in this first half. Coming across is Richie Power, 14 in his back, but playing at centre half forward. Steps by the challenge, the referee has blown his whistle because Richie was taking too many steps and that's going to be a free for the Premier County yeah but Kenny look much sharper Marty much fresher and uh, you know they're winning all the 50-50 battles at the moment ball drops in David Herity is there behind a pretty impressive full back oh, line okay, so far oh, Paul Murphy J. J. Delaney and Jackie Terrell ball again aimed at TJ Reid Oh, Larkin is hovering Reid Showing some nice stick work. Throws it into the hand and away he goes again. But this time he passes it straight to Brendan Maher. Maher first, Shane McGrath. Two midfielders combined. Goes long up towards Patrick Bonner And this time, Kid Kenny, not surprisingly, wins the one-to-one -one tussle up front. Coming forward is Jackie Terrell. Three temporary lads around him. Gives a pair of zone locker. Once domiciled in the full forward line, now out around midfield. Goes for distance. Trying to get a shot in was Colin Finley. Picked up this time by Parik Ma. Puts the brakes on, changes direction, uses the short grip and goes down towards Patrick Bonhamma. Coming across is Noel McGrath. Lair Carver, Padmore, David Herity. Herity loses the possession. It's into Padmore. It's a goal for Tipperary. More drama in Crook Park as this story changes chapters. Second by second, minute by minute. First it was TJ Reid with a cracker. Then comes this as the perilous lads came in. Lar Corbett, fair challenge and David Herity comes for his path, Bork, and into the back of the net. Absolutely, Marty. Uh, fair attack. I was going to criticise there for being a bit slow onto the breaking ball and David Herity won't like to see that one again. He should have really had it collected and you know put, brings tip back into the game again. Now, psychological advantage for the moment is with the Premier County, the Monster Champions. This ball sent in by Brian O'Mara, but the ball is to the right and wide. Half an hour gone, 1-9, 1-7. Most enjoyable. Yeah, Larry Corbett down injured now, and looks like a hamstring problem. And the referee is there too, as Larry Corbett uh, obviously requires medical attention and fast. Looks like a uh, hamstring injury as uh, the physios and the doctors all arrive. And that was such a significant moment as the ball came in here, came out far as Pa Bark, the Thurless Sarsfields combination of one two. Corbett did the hitting, Burke did the scoring, all legitimate. Yeah, there was no problem at all with it, and uh, it looks like Lara has. Looks like he's okay again. A minute ago, I thought he was. Trying to run it off now. If it's a hamstring, he won't run it off, but he looks to be okay now. But he seems to be really focusing on Tommy Walsh, uh, Larry Corbett. He's following him all over the place, and Tommy's on yellow card. And I don't really like to see what Larry Corbett's had out there, to be totally honest with you. No. It's nothing to do with hurling, and uh, you know, it's not something I've seen out of him before, but he's not concentrating on the game at all. 
Paul comes over to O'Larkin as we'll keep an eye on Tommy Walsh and Mark Corbett, not just on their screens, but indeed off camera as well. Good Kenny, how incensed. Dissent from Henry Shefflin, who expressed his view. And there's an extra 13 metres for Tipperary. Yeah, look, there wasn't a lot in it again. You know, the tackles have gone in it again, but you know, some, some have been let away and some aren't. And uh, you know, a good heavy hit on Brendan Maher, and he was getting up, there was maybe an arm across him, but they're marginal calls. He's already scored a goal and four points. This is Pa Bork. Hits it. Absolutely beautifully. And there's a man on form. David Herity with the puck out. Drops it down. And it's Shane McGuire. Blistering pass. Not a great pass, I must say, but it could still work out for us by Nomara. Paul Murphy picked up an injury, but he managed to get the hand pass in. Finlay battling here for Paul Kerr. Down first, Corey Maher, and as he fell to the ground, hits it. An almighty wallop down towards Brian O'Mara. Lara Corbett has gone inside. O'Mara, Noel McGuire hits it quickly on the 45 and registers another point for Tipperary. And the sides are level for the fifth time in 33 minutes of action. Yeah, and Marty, to be fair to Brian O'Mara, he's really you know, opened a, uh, shown great leadership in the Tipperary attack. He won that ball again and laid it off straight away to Noel McGrath. He's had a hand in four or five scores now and he's doing very, very well. Ball breaks for Richie Park. High challenge, it would appear, by Torek Maher. Referee has blown his whistle. One minute of additional time just being announced here. What yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely, I came in, came straight in. You know, we've seen yellow cards given for an offside less than that. I don't know what Declan Ray was looking for there. And the shenanigans still continues between Lark Corbett and Tommy Walsh. Well, no, they're literally it, are it, following it, each other. Well, it, Tommy isn't following him at all. Lara just Lara keeps doing it. it. It's like he's trying to pick up Tommy Walsh. He keeps following him and uh, trying to annoy him. Henry Shefflin hits this to the right and wide. It's, it's rather funny to watch, Michael, because it looks like Lara Corbett wants to be wants to mark Tommy Walsh rather well, than the other way around. He wants to get his attention on it, but you know, you have to say a great comeback for Tipperary. They were five times down a few minutes ago, and uh, you know, if they, if they had linked, they could have been gone out of the championship, and a great, great comeback by, by them. Kieran Joyce, clearance was not a good one. Comes as far as Noel McGraw, but that's well wide of the target. Scoreline remains level. They've been level five yeah, times. Yeah, the ref is calling this a 65. He must have saw a little deflection on the ball down there, and um, he's given a 65. We're into injury time, and obviously uh, the umpire now raises his arm to signal the referee's decision to uh, give this 65. And remember, Tipperary playing with wind advantage, so possibly could uh, drop this in high and hopefully maybe go in leading at the break. Well, that's it, and you know, as I said, we're five points down, and what a huge, you know, seven or eight minutes by Tipperary coming up to half time, and if they go in a point up now, that's some turnaround. And, as I said earlier, you know, Kilkenny would have done most of the hurling and won a lot of the 50-50 battles, but you know, it's a sign of how good Tipperary are and how dangerous they are. Referee Carl McAllister just telling Michael Finlay to get back the sufficient distance. It's Pa Burke standing over. Here he comes. And there is the point. His free-taking has been a model of consistency in the opening half. And it gives Tipperary a one-point advantage. With one minute of injury time now played. And the referee, Paul McAllister, blows the half-time whistle. Tipperary and Kilkenny head to the dressing room after a most pulsating opening half in this All-Ireland semi-final. A goal by TJ Reid after 27 minutes certainly gives Kil Kil Kilkenny an advantage, but Pa Burke responded three minutes later. The sides have been level five times in the first half, but at the break, it's Tipperary leading by one goal and ten points to Kilkenny's 1-9. Analysis coming up right after the break.
It was an extraordinary season. Full of twists and turns. Unbelievable results. And last minute drama. Aguero score! What next? Premier Soccer Saturday, Saturday at 8 on RTE2 and RTE2 HD. I'd like to welcome you all to the Neighborhood Watch. Great to meet you. Good to meet you. British? I am, and you're American. This August, protecting the hood just got real. Let's roll. I have to pee. Oh, my God, we're going. Stop it. Make it happen. Stop it. Uh -huh. Make it happen. Ooh, killing it. The Watch. <gasps> Centra, sponsors of the GAA Hurling Championship. As halftime in Croke Park in this summer's second senior hurling semi-final. Tipperary leading Kilkenny one goal and ten points to one goal and nine. And Sir Far Jarlock Nan Tomas McCahy here with me in studio. Uh Ger, we we expect and ask so much of this these games the last couple of years between these two sides. They don't disappoint. Oh my god, look at the start of that game. I haven't seen a start like that since the nineteen ninety eight replay between Clare and Waterford below Tullus. The we should have told people not to sit too close uh, to the telly. Oh, exactly, put your helmet on watching it on television because the, the early exchanges, both physical and verbal, were absolutely ferocious, you know, and the, the, the intense, the pace of the game after that, it just never, it, it was relentless, it just never gave up. And all the pre-match analysis about who were going to be the stars all went out the window because they're like Alar and Henry Shefflin, Tommy Welch were all out of the game. Mm -hmm. But it was played in, like... You know, the danger is that someone will analyse this in a video and start blaming people for what went on and see who hit who. That's rubbish. Those things happen at the start of the game. There's no one injured. Hard physical exchanges in the game and settled down. Now, Kilkenny grabbed the initiative after that. They did the better holding. They were more incisive in the forwards. But the real, the real important part here, I think, I know, the, the, you know, you see all those kind of uh, exchanges early on in the game. The really important thing here is Tipperary, since they got the goal, that mm -hmm. bought goal, Ten minutes, in, from the 26th minute on, they've outscored Kilkenny by 1-3 to no score. Yeah. So now Tipperary are going in, having grabbed the initiative, the question is, can they hold it? Or will Kilkenny come out and respond to that now? Now, they were watching all those exchanges, shouldering and messing and shoving around. I, I, like, I, I, I think the referee was right at that stage. Was, because was. I mean, If he was going to flash yellow cards all over, we'd have had yeah. no teams, right? I mean, at times you would say the referee, Colin McAll McAllister, he's from Cork, he's known for not blowing the whistle. You'd wonder, was there a pee at all in the whistle? Because at times, he just let the, play, the, the, the play go. But and look, it has made for the first half, to be fair. Yes, but while I agree with you, and I yes. love it, what's happening, you have to say, where are the rule books? Like, mm. you go to a minor match, Joe, you'll be coaching ah, him. I know, sir, but, sir, but, sir, 